bulletproof glass. One of those magical materials we see in movies, but we don't actually know anything about. Is it any different from normal glass? Could I make some without knowing anything about ballistics? And most importantly, will this video get as many views as our first one we did about bulletproof glass? I mean, that was pretty nice, not gonna lie. I'm not so sure the bulletproof glass is all that special. I mean, what would happen if I just took a few panes of glass, cut them into four because I haven't been visited by the ghost of Christmas past, present, or future, and taped them together? Then I'd take the aforementioned taped panes on a nice little mountain drive and find some rabbits to keep it distracted. Who is that handsome devil? All right, this is our first test. We're gonna use these little thin boys. For, this is the Home Depot glass. And we're gonna start with a 22. Cause we're feeling 22. All right, bombs away. Yowza. Well, uh, yeah, that's our control. I think it's safe to say that uh, that didn't work at all. On to the next test. All right, fine. Maybe there is something special about bulletproof glass, but I've got a couple ideas that just might work. And if those aren't enough, I made a piece that's thick enough it could be a mom in a Pixar movie. First, I'm gonna try to use some thicker pieces of glass with thin pieces between them and resin between those pieces. But before that, I need to solve another problem. See, this glass that I bought is the wrong type. And before you go and say, hey, doo-doo for brains, why don't you just buy the right type of glass? Let me explain that to you. Surprisingly, the glass we used in the first test was actually the right kind of glass. The problem is it's incredibly expensive to buy glass like that that's thick. The proper glass is called annealed glass. What is annealed, you asked? Well, <laughs> thanks for asking, first of all. It's basically the way glass comes out of the oven without any extra processing done to it. The reason it's so hard to find is because it's incredibly dangerous. It breaks into giant shards that can cut really bad. So because we live in the 21st century, almost all consumer glass is tempered, which makes it break into these nice little tiny cubes that just look so tasty and good. This is great for safety, but if you know anything about me, I hate safety. Oh, and also the glass won't stop any bullets if it's too busy turning into bite-sized pieces. Luckily, there's a WikiHow page on how to anneal tempered glass for some reason. Finding thick tempered glass and annealing it is quite simple and cheap. In fact, I'd recommend all you viewers do it at home in your oven. You just have to heat it up to a thousand degrees Fahrenheit and let it cool very slowly. And after that, it's done. I'll let past me take it from here. All right, this has cooled completely. It's been like 24 hours. Still looks like glass, so that's uh, that's promising. Time to cut it with the water jet and see what happens. That's not going anywhere. Well, it let us cut it. It's not broken. That edge looks really nice. Thank you, Walter. <laughs> Let's drop it, see if it breaks. See how it breaks. Smart. That is exactly what we wanted. This is good. That means it's annealed and more dangerous, but better for bulletproof glass. Well done. All right, now we'll leave this here for Craig to deal with. Okay, now that we know that this one is annealed, we can anneal the rest of them. My only question is, how do we do all three of them at once? Because I don't have time to do them all separately. I think if I just space them out a little, it'll be okay. Easy does it. Last one. Okay, that should do it. There's even spacing. They all have equal access to the heat. All right, see you in two hours. I'm going to glue these together with resin and see what that does and see what it looks like and see if that's comparable to the layers in between the glass here because they're soft, but I don't know what they are. Google tells me it's polyvinyl butyrol, but I don't know what that is. We want lots on there because that stuff's pretty thick. Now I made and shot these last three at the same time, but for all you TikTok watchers, I'm going to put the test throughout the video to keep you happy. But I still want you to know how I made them because I worked really hard on them and I had some admittedly fire jokes in there. Dude, who got their boogers all over my plexiglass? That's disgusting. All right, how's our little tester piece doing? Looks pretty good. So just doing resin, isn't quite as thick as the layers we have in the real bulletproof glass. So maybe a layer on the glass and then an additional layer once 
tying the together will be the key here. Okay, here's what I'm thinking for one of the tests. You can see the thick pieces of glass with the thin ones in between them and the plexiglass on the end. That's pretty clear. Not quite as thick as our beefy boy here, but I think the beefy boy is for stopping very large calibers and we will make a beefy boy like that and we'll test the differences. All right, here's a base discovery for you fellow gamers out there. I was just guesstimating that this mysterious substance called polyvinyl butyrol is, you know, I was just gonna substitute it with resin. Guess what? Polyvinyl butyrol is a resin. Let's go. I am having more and more faith in this plan. Behold my majesty. We got little tape molds, so it'll be a little deeper than the first one, so we can have a little more resin in there, or should I say, polyvinyl butyrol. All right, here's where the timer begins, ladies and gentlemen. We're mixing a lot of this resin together. It's not meant to be in this cup for very long, because if it will, it'll get too hot and it'll cure in the cup in a solid block. So we gotta get it spread across all these quick. All right, we've got her mixed. She's ready to pour. Working with this quick curing resin is always weird because it'll be fine and then two minutes later it's a million degrees and rock solid. Now the trick here is to pop the bubbles and not melt the tape. It's a fine balance. All right, these are all looking pretty good. Just a couple bubbles here and there. The glass with resin is looking quite clear. You can see the layers there. We're ready to glue it up. I see no way this could go wrong. I've taped it off. We're going to fill it with resin. I've left some spaces in between the layers of glass, as you can see, and we will maintain said layer with some hot glue. That's not going anywhere. Just mixing up a tincture. Oh, Dan? Yeah, don't worry about him, he's just chilling. This is real thin, just like me, but I need it to be thinner. So I'm gonna heat it up in the microwave and you guys are gonna be like, holy crap, is that Marvin Gaye? Cause that's hot just like an oven. You weren't supposed to do that. Holy crap, is that Marvin Gaye? Cause it's hot just like an oven. Different cup and no stick. Ah, I'm getting nervous. Holy crap, is that Marvin Gaye? Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for. That's like water. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. <sighs> I have no idea what's gonna happen. Uh, this one, the thin one, with, with the resin. Oh, that looked promising. Oh, oh. I hope we got that. Where'd it go? Oh, there she is. Hello. Guess who? Is it bulletproof? It's bulletproof. Let's go. This is the smallest one too. I meant to figure this out. I don't know if you're supposed to shoot the polycarbonate side or the glass side, but we shot the glass side. Maybe let's flip it around and shoot the polycarbonate side and see what happens. Ah, so that trapped the bullet. This is super interesting. It's mostly underneath. Like I'm not touching the lead right now, I'm touching the polycarbonate. The bullet is almost completely underneath the top layer, but above the first layer of glass. That's very interesting. So if you want a bullet, a keepsake for later, shoot the polycarbonate side. Let's shoot this with a 40 cal pistol. Now, obviously this is being weakened as we shoot it more, but you know, you obviously want to be able to survive more than one shot, so let's see what we can do with this guy. Well, uh, it looks like it did not survive that because it was pretty weakened. I bet it probably would have had we not weakened it. All right, here's our final setup. We got plexiglass in the front with two of the thinner layers 
another plexiglass, two layers, normal glass, two layers, normal glass, two layers, normal glass. Yeah, back into the microwave we go. Please don't catch on fire. All right. I called my expert friend and he said, you want to shoot the glass side, not the polycarbonate side. So we're going to shoot the glass side. All right, this is the medium thickness. What have we here? A bullet that has been reduced to atoms. <laughs> wow. I'd call that a smashing success. Yeah, look, it only, like the bullet got stuck on, what is that, the first layer? Yeah. And then the rest just crushed because of the, the shock, I think. Yeah. I wonder, I feel like this resin might be a little too hard. The resin in the bulletproof glass that was professionally made that we have is pretty soft, uh, which makes sense to absorb the shock. Um, so maybe that's a major downfall of this is that the layers behind also break which might weaken it Let's shoot it again. See what happens. All right. This is your standard 556 five, green tip. That means it's eco-friendly You're doing a good job as our weapons uh, Weapons novice. novice. Yep, that's me <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't go on the internet. So yeah, we, we couldn't afford an expert. So we just have a novice. Okay. I think it's safe to say that didn't survive. Wait, that's the small one. Where'd it go? <laughs> Isn't that it? No? That might be it. Let's watch the slow-mo, see where it went. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the glass just dissolves. It's like not even, not even close. <laughs> it splits in like two and glass just explodes in every direction. Uh, so yeah, that is, that is part of it. I don't know where the other half went. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. I dare a bullet to get through this. You see this, Dan? Check this out, Dan. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, look at that, look at that. Wild, huh? All right, Big Bertha. That's as big as a Big Mac. Can't even fit my mouth around that. If this can't stop it, I'm gonna cry. We'll use the remains of the last one to hold it up. Genius. There we go. Perfect. Ready? My baby. <laughs> what have you done to my baby? <laughs> How's it looking? Wait, hang on. Hang on. We stopped a wicked, wicked 5.56 five, round. <laughs> it lost a couple layers. That's crazy. Let's watch the slow-mo and see what happened. Oh, that's a big impact. Oh, so like the first three layers are gone, just immediately separated. <laughs> and the glass spray is insane. But it worked. That's what matters. Okay. I, uh, I highly doubt it's gonna survive because we already lost like three or four layers, but just, just to see. All right, here we go. 30 out of six. Well, don't, don't think that survived that one. <laughs> Yowza. That's, uh, that's, that's a bit of a hole, but it fits the sun nicely. Look at that. I don't want to brag or anything, but I nailed that 10 yard shot. Maybe it's more like five yards. Still nailed it though. Well, we better clean this up or else using those green tips wouldn't have, would have been for not, you know? Can't, yeah. can't go green unless we're picking up our mess. We cut our million subscriber gold play button in half and looked around inside it. Click here to watch that video.